Hello, this video is the first one for Pratt class and it's using the data from a simple pendulum. This is a simple pendulum uh, to show you how to format a results table. We call results and format it properly. So the data that we collected was just a simple pendulum. Just let me show you this. There we go. There's a simple pendulum and we varied the length of the pendulum and we measured the period time. And the way we did that was we counted for 10 complete oscillations and we measured the time for 10 complete oscillations and then we repeated that twice over so we've got three trials for each length and the range was between 10 and 100 centimeters so let me put that to one side uh, and just show you uh, how we then formatted the data table so you can see the data table here uh, a couple of things to start with you'll notice the column headings we've written what we measured, the symbol, which in this case was L, so it was length, the symbol L backslash unit. And we've used that same convention for all the others, so time for 10 oscillations, small t backslash s, and also period time, capital T backslash s. So those are your headings. So we've got the quantity, the symbol, and the unit. Just to tidy up a little bit, if I just show you this, so I can, I want to merge those two cells together, so I'll highlight them. Go format, merge cells, merge those vertically. Same with these two, format, merge cells, merge vertically. And these four cells, I want to merge them, uh, but I want to merge them horizontally. So that just tidies it up a little bit. And then I can put a board around all of that on the borders so I can just see my data a bit more clearly. So I've inputted my data for length, 10, 20, all the way up to 70 centimeters. And those are my times for 10 oscillations, my three trials. Just a little extra here. If I just highlight that column and just to show if you've inputted your data, which I'd like to input this data. But let's say all the data is not of the, not the same number of decimal places. So you can use these two buttons up here to increase the number of decimal places. I don't particularly want to do that. Or decrease the number of decimal places. I don't want to do that in this case either. So to ensure that for a column, the number of decimal places is consistent. All right, and I can do that for this one if I want as well. So I can increase the number of decimal places, decrease the number of decimal places. So these two buttons here, allow you to do that. And um, now the two calculations that I want to do, I want to calculate the average. I want to calculate the average of these three trials and put it in this cell here. So to input data into cells, you just have to put the number in. If you want it to do, a, if you want uh, Google Sheets to do a calculation, this is a Google Sheet, and it, it's the same for Microsoft Excel. You have to press equals, and just type in average bracket, then highlight the cells that you want to calculate the average, close bracket. Press return, and you'll get the, the answer there. Again, if your uh, value is too many decimal places, for example, something like that, you'd use this button at the top again to go down to two decimal places in this case. And the great thing is you can use the copy down function. You can grab the little blue box there and drag it all the way down. It will do all those other calculations for you. Finally, I want to calculate the period time. The period time is the time for one oscillation. So in this cell, I want to press equals and I want to take that number and I want to divide it in this case by 10 and press return. And then Go back onto that cell again, grab that little box, and put it down to the bottom. So that's a basic uh, outline of how to do a results table and formatting and creating the columns so you've got the right number of decimal places. Okay, see you soon. Bye.